Previously on Big Brother 4. After narrowly escaping eviction and then winning head of household, Allison nominated Dana and June for eviction. Dana, you betrayed me. It's my duty now to come after you. And though Dana thought she was tight with the exes. We know it's going to be 3-3, three, three, like you three for me and those three for her. Justin, Robert, and G were looking out for themselves. What's better for us? While Dana lobbied hard to stay in the game. You and Chuck both know that I'm not out to get either one of you. June lost her patience. She's campaigning against me, and I just, I just can't stand that. Allison kept up appearances with her alliance, while also making deals with the other side. I kind of cut a little deal with the Three Stooges. Like, if you guys are joint, like, I'll vote however you want. I don't care. And Nathan grew suspicious. I just don't like how you try to sneak around. Me? I think you're paranoid. When the eviction was announced... By a vote of six to zero, Dana, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Jack, Erica, Allison, and Nathan saw the unanimous vote as a victory, but their joy was short-lived. Congratulations, Justin. You are the new head of household. And the power shifted once again to the exes. Which two house guests will Justin nominate for eviction? Find out tonight on Big Brother 4. vote of six to zero. Dana, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. I feel really guilty about Dana. I feel bad because I knew how important this game was to her and, you know, it was either her or me, but the girl hates me, so Dana had to leave, obviously, and I'm happy she's gone. It was in the best interest of the house that she left, and um, I was kind of happy to see her go. It was a lot of relief that I'm still here, still in the game, and it went 6-0, and it really boosted my spirits, even though I'm crying. Allison, this is a game. It's a, it's a hardcore game. It, it, it can become very personal, but it's still a game. And Dana was not able to deal with something like that because she was crazy. It was hard for me to look, look Dana in the eye. She knows that if I would have voted for her, it would have been for personal reasons. And she knows that I'm really, you know, big on drawing the line between the personal and, and the game. Okay. Oh, okay. oh my God, I'm so excited. Better, Dana. Bye, sweetie. Dana kind of brought the game to a level that we didn't want, you know, have it go to. And that's a personal, very um, vengeful kind of game. Right now, I'm, I'm kind of like a, an emotional firecracker. At the same time, I don't want everyone here to see me in full breakdown mode, which is why I left to one corner of the house and kind of let my tears out. Everyone ready? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Then let's play. The HOH competition uh, this week was uh, crucial. You know, I, I felt like I was a marked man. I felt like everybody in the house was going after me. Who said that one of their bad habits is that they obsess about everything? I had to win tonight. I had to win. Everybody got it right except for Jack. I need to turn around have somebody kick me right in the ass. Congratulations, Justin. Everyone else got it wrong. You are the new head of household. <laughs> Allison, please hand over the key to your ex. It feels excellent, you know, all those second places, you know, it feels good to finally pull through for once. When Justin won the head of household competition, I could not hide, you know, how happy and ecstatic I was for myself, 
for him and for our dream team. <laughs> My boy did it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> It's gonna be a great week, man. What can I say? I mean, the dream team is still alive. The only ones that can take us out is ourselves. There's no one else can touch us. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I knew it was coming. I knew this time was coming. It's not over, Nathan. I flirted with Nathan so that Nathan would use the veto on me so he could save me. That saved me, but at the same time, it put Nathan, you know, in a great risk. Don't be sure about anything. Come on. Here we fall in here. Do you want me to go away? Do what you want. Do anyway. I'm glad he's acting the way he is, though. Like, at least he's not coming over here trying to talk. Like, you know what I mean? I liked it, too. He's being respectable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, dude I did. think this is like a, something that happened in the game that can yeah. affect the outcome. Like, we're like the our house in here, and I don't need to. Oh, man. This is literally one of the best days of my stay in the Big Brother house. Like, we got, like, brotherhood up in this piece. You don't know. I was just so happy for him and for, for our team. The house is going to go crazy. So we're going to be cocky. Yeah. You guys ready to go in? Oh, JJ, JJ, JJ. Oh, man, I am so excited to get into that room. I'm so interested in what I'm going to have in there. Yeah, hey, what's hey, what is it? Is it? Cool. Oh. What is it? Which one is it? Live. Cool. Nice, dude. Very nice. There. Oh, it's his, it's cool. his dog. His hey, mom breeds these dogs. dogs. Dude, I can't believe my mom sent that. I know. The little Airedale statue was, uh, you know, a dog that, you know, we had for like 13 years. He won like the dog shows. He was like a champion. Oh, he did all that. Man, And dude. like he won this. He oh. won a oh. Yeah. Oh. This yeah. is it. That's this what it was. Is that an Airedale? Cool, yeah, that's all right there. Yeah, yeah an Airedale Terrier. My mom giving it up now, it, it, like it meant a lot, you know. That's it's so better sweet. than the picture. That is. Yeah, that yeah, is. It takes a lot to, to get to his heart, and his mom sending him that, I mean, he didn't expect it, and he loved it. Dude, they stocked you up. Did you see your shoes? Yeah, his wrestling. Yeah, I know. They got miles on them, boy. They look like they've been through a lot. Look, they didn't give me the velvet rose. This is guys. The guys. Yeah, that's the guys. Yeah. Well, you wanted the velvet rose? Oh, Hell yeah. What the hell are you? This is nicer. It's nice. Jack and Nate kind of, you know, they just came in, I think, kind of just out of respect. And, you know, they didn't want to be rude. Your ass, bro. Thanks, bro. Yeah. Me and Nate kind of have this understanding that has never, ever been verbalized. He's coming after me. And he knows I'm coming after him. And it was a matter of who's going to get, you know, to where I'm at now first. I wanted to win this really bad tonight. So. My gut says to get him out of there now. I was like, he's due. Do you remember me saying that? I was like, he's right. due for a win. Right. <laughs> the irony. Unbelievable. I've been trying to get rid of Justin since he came in the door. Nathan's mistake the first week has now come back to haunt him. I got you. I got both of you. Yeah, I got it. Go. Had our chance. I told Nate to violate the agreement and nominate him. He wanted to keep his word. This is frustrating as hell. They want to go out like this. It's not over yet. Allie's in there campaigning like no other. They were pissed because you not go up on the block. Pissed. Of course they were. I'm like, think about it, Nathan. I did it for your interest. He's like, what are you talking about? Because I go. And if I don't go by the block with you and I win the veto, then I can veto you off. It's the only chance you have. Nobody better use that veto. I would never veto him off. No, of course not. Never. I'm, I'm a floater right now. Um, I have both sides thinking I'm on their side, and, you know, it's really just coming down to who's power. Allison, if we need her for a vote, we need her for for competitions, I mean, we're going we're gonna to use her. Great. Us three being in here, I don't care if we're not talking, it's just us three being in here, this is hot. This is hot. It's become a tradition for everybody to come up to the, the head of household before nominations, and, and you know, they get 
uh, you know, a couple minutes to, to plead their case. Do we have to go in individually and talk to... I guess so. Should I ask? Uh... Who is it? Me. She's the doorman. Wait, one second. <laughs> Justin? We... Who is it? It's Allison. Would you like to see her? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you got five minutes. You got five minutes. I don't need five minutes. All right, come on in. No, do you want everyone in here one at a time? They want to know. They want to know? One by one, yeah. We're only going to take two tonight and the rest tomorrow. There you go. So go tell them to choose. <laughs> one at a time, two tonight, the rest tomorrow. So who wants to go tonight? I'll go tonight. I want to get okay. this over with. Am I go, do I go yeah, now? No, just go knock on the door. <laughs> Who is it? It's Erica. <laughs> Wait one second. Oh my God. Justin? What? It's Erica. Would you like to see it's her? It's the master, Erica. Erica can come here. <laughs> one in. Five minutes, please. I say close the door. The three stooges are acting as if they're in the mafioso and... It was like, yo, Vito sent me when I knocked on the door. It was really quite stupid and childish, uh, but it's obviously to be expected. How's life? Life's good. Cool. Well, I don't, I don't really know what to say. Well, whatever you gotta say, it's gotta be today. You know, I've not lied to any three of you in this room. It's true. So, Very true. Very true, Erica. Very you know, true. You're the I've only played person. this game pretty straight shooting through the whole time I was here. Absolutely. It was actually quite humiliating having to sit there and try to bite my tongue. I hope that people can take me putting them like up as nomination as a compliment, you know, like they're right. a threat. They're a threat. I sat there and took it only because this week they have the power and you gotta kiss some ass. Okay, your five minutes are over, Erica. <laughs> it's, 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 kick, it's kick my ass. Kick your ass. Okay, one second, Jack. No, kick mine. Justin, not yours. this is Jack. Would you like to speak to him? Uh, he's got five minutes. Uh, All right, Jack. Okay. The orange chair right there, sir. Okay. <laughs> okay, have fun. <laughs> I want you guys to know I've had your back since you came in here. <laughs> <laughs> the victors, that is, Justin, Robert, and G, are having a great time in the HOH room since Justin has the power. It was actually funny for me. If you lose, you have to eat some crow and whatever else is on the plate. I'm eating the humiliation apple with gusto. I came in to uh, say that that uh, I'm available for a nomination <laughs> for eviction, or I'm not available. Whichever you guys decide. That's very respectable. Yeah. We like I'll, I'll let you know that we we've, we've always respected the way that you yes, played more than anybody in this house, Jack. Right. Like that means a lot. It means like you're not to, like you can draw a line right. between yeah. personal and you can draw a line between the game. Definitely. Thanks, guys. Well, Definitely. you have my respect, and uh, you guys are in a driver's seat, and yeah. you know whatever you whatever you do, I'll respect. Justin is uh, the brains. Robert's the emotion. G is the diplomat. But it's not totally you. final yet. Perhaps all three of them have a place in the Vatican or the Oval Office or some other Machiavellian scheme. I do highly respect you. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy. All right. The respect is returned. Oh, thank you very much, sir. <laughs> the funniest thing I've ever had in the house. Let me get rough in this piece. Right? Nathan certainly knows about all the laughing and frivolity in the HOH bedroom. He's right down the hall in the love bedroom. We do want to humiliate everybody in the house because we were the targets to get out of this house from day one. Before we walked in, we were a target. So we are going to rub it in. We're going to brag about it. And we're going to basically be unbearable the rest of the week. I mean, we're going to be worse than we are tonight. And we don't care. Robert, Erica, and G lost last week's food competition. So they have been on peanut butter and jelly diet. Close your mouth. I'm gonna smack you. Why are you doing that on purpose, dude? You're not suffering. Take it easy. You be such a bitch. I hate you. You be such a bitch. We are only allowed to eat peanut butter and jelly, condiments, vitamins, water, tea, and coffee. I'm gonna try blue cheese and Thousand Island. Oh, this mixture sounds nasty. Robert is like just doing just all sorts of weird things with his, you know, peanut butter and jelly diet. What I've invented was mayonnaise, 
mustard, paprika, and steak sauce. When I make that sandwich, it tastes like I'm about to, like it tastes like the next bite will be a piece of steak. Steak for lunch. Praise the Lord. I am very happy to see as many of the Stooges starve as I can arrange. Mm. That meat is tender. G and Robert are uh, suffering from food deprivation. Enjoy it, guys. Enjoy it. Enjoy it while you can. Yummy. Mm. We go slice and dice. <laughs> <laughs> you got three minutes to get in your swimsuits and come back on the couch. Oh my God. That was oh so my God. God. We had to divide up into four two-man teams and someone had to be a chef and someone had to be food. Are you guys ready for this week's food competition? Yeah. Let's go. I saw big containers of food and I was wondering whether we we're gonna have to eat concoctions of food. That was my first impression. Oh my gosh. All right, welcome house guests to the Big Brother Cooking School. I am Justin, the head chef. Today's lesson will be how to cook a house guest. <laughs> Master this lesson and we will eat for a week. Fail and it's peanut butter and jelly for everybody, including myself, and do not forget nominations are tonight. <laughs> <laughs> the breakfast team will cook first, lunch second, dinner third. June and myself will tackle snacks and desserts last. Yeah. On go, the breakfast team will run up to their menu board and reveal their recipe. Oh. We have 10 minutes to complete all four recipes. Each recipe not completed will result in all of us eating peanut butter and jelly for that Ooh. meal all week long. Oh, Amen. But if we complete all four, we will win a bonus prize, a special lunch from outside the house that everybody will enjoy all weekend long. Woo-hoo! Yeah. So if a week of food and drink sounds nice, better get ready for slice and dice! <laughs> All I could think of was last week's PB and J, so I, I had my game face on. All right, breakfast will be first. On your marks, it's set, go! Yeah! Yeah! Reveal the recipe. First thing, get in the fruit soup. I was a strawberry. I don't think that being a strawberry is what agents have in mind when they think about their image. The fruit suit is on. I think I had to lug about 17,000 gallons of milk. It was very hard. I really thought that I was going to pass out. Oh, okay. Go, Jack, go! <laughs> Eric is tired. Go with the strawberries on. Jack, get up in there, Jack! Get in there, Jack! Get in there! Get in it, Jack! All right, one, two, three, go! I'm finished with the Bureau. I'll never be able to go back to any kind of agent's meeting after being a strawberry in, in cereal. I was the hot dog. Put the hot dog in the fucking in there! Put it out! Now you need to slap on four maps of each ketchup and mustard. Robert in that wiener suit? Are you kidding me? He was screaming like a little girl. It was hilarious. <laughs> now you gotta go. Go back. You go back. That's one. That's two. That's two. This crowd, sauerkraut. Oh, now you need to relish that dough. Oh, <laughs> Jake, go! Relish that dough! All right, let's go ahead, get there! I can't stand condiments. I don't even want to look at another uh, mustard and mayonnaise sandwich. Get in there! Get into the chicken soup. I guess I was a chicken fajita. Oh, hurry up. Now get that one in. Felt like an idiot. <laughs> when I had to put on the chicken suit. That's good, that's good, that's good. Nate, put that on. Oh, Nathan! Wow. Oh, man, this on your face. <laughs> All right, good. Put the tortilla on plate. Put the chicken on the tortilla. Yeah. Nate, lay down. Add grilled onions. Go. 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 Go.
We got dessert! So you gotta get in the banana suit. My role was to be the banana in a banana split. The only thing hard about June's was that it was probably so damn cold. Oh my god, I was so happy that we won the food competition because literally I would have been in bed for the next week if I had to be on PBJ. Alright guys, since we won the food competition, number one, no PBJ this week. Yeah! It was so worth getting all that stuff on me. It was worth every second of it. And let's see what we get for the weekend. to order sandwiches and salads from Subway. Eat fresh. Yeah. Good job, guys. We won fresh sandwiches and salads from Subway, which is awesome. I didn't want the contest to end, really. I enjoy being a strawberry. Oh, my God. You guys... I was the one who noticed when I walked in the house that the table had gotten so much smaller. <gasps> oh my oh! god! What? Seeing that table kind of jump started my competitive spirit and my heart. No holds barred from here on out. The gloves come off. Check it out, guys. Nothing new. Oh, oh wow. That is small. This is so small. It made me feel a little nostalgic. It's only eight of us? Oh, yeah. It actually brought me back to the first time we all sat down at that big table, and there were so many of us. There's only going to be five keys in the next nomination ceremony, and it's, gonna, it's just so strange. As far as people who have left the house, they're kind of ghosts. They're gone, and goodbye. That's crazy. It looks so <laughs> weird. I really, when I see the smaller table, just shows me that I still have a lot of work to do in the house. There's still a lot of chairs around that small table. It's looking at you, man. I can see your abs now. I did, I did crunches last night before I went to sleep. I used to have an eight pack. Used to back in the day. Jane told us. You don't know. Why are you look at us like that for? What's the us? Why are you look at me like that for? You're a nasty little witch. <laughs> so is your mama. June for sure always tries to just get under my skin. June, you don't need to get involved. In Shut the hell up! Shut the hell up! What, what the f is wrong with you what today? Is you want you? beef with me? The you was. Shut the then. Oh, dude, you're the one. Yo, let me even fight my tongue, because you can have an episode. Well, bite your tongue, You can have an episode, dude. You bitch can't bite it all day, now What's you want to bite it. Bitch? Right? So bite you that. Keep bite that and get it over with. Pathetic. Okay, go away. <laughs> that shit was funny. He should have started with me, unless he's going to take it all the way, and I have no problem. G, for the most part, whenever we get into like a verbal argument, he's never going to um, win over me. You guys don't know the half of it, man. You know what? I'm going to be the... What half fun. of it? That oh, I work four jobs? Well, I respect that about you. You really did. How you could were, I be crazy if I no sit there? No one asked you home. You were crazy. I'm not talking about leaving my home. <laughs> you had to support yourself because you left your home and not my fault. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was there for you, but I was 16. What the <laughs> f I'm a kid. 
That's why I was okay with you playing PlayStation 24-7. My history with G starts like nine years ago. I kind of had an upper hand on him the whole time. We, we met when we were I was 15 and she was 19. She nurtured me like a mother figure. Why do you want to sabotage my life? <laughs> I to sabotage I told you she's a f whack job. <laughs> <laughs> you are. You're crazy. You have <laughs> you know, I have no qualms about starting a fight with him. Um, I don't want the house to start thinking that G and I have some sort of secret alliance because that would definitely screw me. Yeah, I think it's a strategy on both of our parts, really. Your hands go like this. Yeah. And your feet just go sideways. Wait, hold on. So, one, two. Three. Let me do it real quick. There is no music in the Big Brother house. Just because there's no music doesn't mean we're going to stop dancing. <laughs> I decided to give Little Miss Prima Ballerina a funky dance lesson. And uh, <laughs> she didn't take on the hip hop at all too well. Allison is actually an incredible dancer, a more balletic and scoop it down. And she's more jazz, funk. Yeah, this is hard part. Though. One, and two, and three, and four, five, five six. six. The stuff that Erica and Allie do outside drives me crazy. One, two. Prancing back and forth, all dainty and hopping and skipping. Four around the head, five, six. The best dancers in the house are myself, Allie, and Erica. Everyone else sucks. I don't think I'm that bad. This is Justin's dance. Nathan kind of shook his butt once or twice. That's the Oklahoma twang, man. <laughs> That's what I do. That's how I do it. He probably should never do that one again. Whoa! Hey, Rob. Robert is actually a great salsa dancer. Um, that's how I met Robert. I met him at a salsa place. Good, Robert. There are definitely moments between Robert and myself where it's not about the game. It's just like for a split second, we go out and then we're back in. I can't do it. That was so good! Why did you decide just one day to stop drinking? No, 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 not the one day. It was just, it was getting worse and worse every day and it was everything that you can imagine. I'm an alcoholic. I mean, uh, drinking in the morning, getting hammered, couldn't wake up to take a out of school. I was drunk every day. I was neglecting everything, work. I got fired. I lost my car. Um, basically, I was six months from being a bum. And then one day I saw a bum on the street and I said, in six months, I will be that bum. It was horrible. It was, it was, I was sick. I didn't eat for a week. I don't remember what day it was. I, I was filling out an application. I'm not lying to you. My hand was shaking like like so much that I couldn't even write my name. So I had to go get a drink. I came back and I was like, like I needed two drinks to make me feel straight. You used to go, oh honey, br uh, beer already? Come yeah, on. Yeah, I remember it, lo it was starting, but I, I wasn't know. like full blown when we were together, I suppose. You know, at the very tail end of our relationship, uh, Robert did start to drink a little bit more than usual, and he was very, very, very depressed. Me, I'd have a beer, and when I'd go shopping with you, I'd already start feeling that thing where, God, I wish I could have another one. Mm -hmm. Or then when you'd go to work, I, you know what I'd do, I'd go get a six pack. It was becoming... So how long America, has it been since you've had a drink? A year and eight months. To me, it means a lot. Every month that I go by and that I don't drink, every day that goes by and I don't drink, it means everything to me, because without that, I wouldn't have anything. The first eight months, I was just uh, physically like getting better. You is it what part I of your 12-step program to make amends to the people that you've hurt? Yeah, of course it is. No, I am sorry to all you guys, everybody, my family, putting up with that. One of the things was my daughter. I mean, like she thought I was always sick because I was always hungover and, and um, you know, just not being there, so... Uh, now Elena's like, gives me about drinking coke. That makes me feel so happy. She's like, Dad, you're getting another coke? And I'm like, oh my God, I'm like grateful to God that she's not saying, are you drinking another beer or drunk in front of her or anything like that? 
my daughter gave on Father's Day. She gave me a um, a whole like a little like booklet telling me she's only seven. She wrote a thing like um, why I love my dad, and, and one of the things was I love my dad because he takes me to school on time. She goes, uh, he takes me out to the movies. I didn't take her to the movies when I was drunk. I'm there for um, I pick her up. I'm. I don't know. It's just like I'm alive again. Like I can do things. It's a new life. Like I, it's like another person. Well, that's good. It's going on two years then. Yeah, but I'm not even like I'm not like proud of myself or anything. I mean, it's, I was drinking so long. I'm just taking it day by day. He has not taken a drink since he's been in this house. Feel the buzz. I'm feeling a nice buzz. I have to commend him on that. I'm sure that's really difficult. fairly upbeat with all of us except uh, Nathan who feels a huge target front and back and on his forehead and of course he's seen Allie courting the other side shamelessly and she just jumped sides last night and was spending all her time with the uh, victors the uh, G Robert and Justin you can't turn on your lines or those you left alone because no, no one wants a someone that turns on their alliance, especially Justin. Allie competes so well, she's so focused. A formidable adversary in this house. I'd like to see Allison go and deal with Nate later. Timing is everything. Yeah. We keep saying all these HOHs are critical, but they haven't really turned out to be for you and I. No, they haven't. That's why I was talking to you about not having to get it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let them do our dirty work. Yeah. You know, it's a risk, but it's it's worth it. Not having to like put yourself in jeopardy, having to do the nominee. Right. Yeah, you know, because then definitely you're the target. But if we could lay low, you know, have them do our dirty work, take out Nate Alley. Yeah. You no, know, there's still eight people in this house, and you know, it could be anybody's game. I want to tangle with. Getting down to cutting bait time. Yeah. You know, Jack, for not winning, we're okay. I know, it's amazing. <laughs> we just kind of stay out of the way. Yeah. You just stay out of the way all the way to the foot. Yeah. Come in. <laughs> Try to talk to Justin, kind of press him and, and say, hey, maybe some kind of work out some kind of deal. Okay, the situation is, um, like, I wasn't after any of you guys here. You know, I'm sure Allie's in here pleading your case, like, saying that all of us were trying to, to get, like, you guys on the block, which wasn't even true at all. I told Allie, I was like, I want Dana out of here. But my, my deal is pretty much this. I'm not going to campaign against anyone. You know, I'm pretty sure that, you know, I think I have a good chance to be put on the block. But with that said, um, you know, if I could somehow survive, you know, survive this week, I guarantee you guys, you know, I'm not going to put any three up. You know, I, I don't know if I, if this is if I happen to win, but I feel like if you, if you get rid of me this week, you're going to have Jack and Erica. You guys are the first on their, their hit list. That's it. I mean, you know, I can't say that I'm going to win, but if I did win, you guys have nothing to worry about. Um, I, you guys have my word. Like, Hold on. <clears throat> you know that that's something I'm throwing at you. You know, <clears throat> I'm not gonna be pissed. Like I said, I told you guys, I told yeah. them out there, I'm not gonna be pissed when we put up blocks. You know, because I'm not gonna go out like that. If Jack and Erica go on a block, you know, like I said, I'm gonna be trying my best to get the beat on. We'll keep it the same, and I'm sure you guys would too. <clears throat> if uh, you guys win H O H next week, you can put me back up and take me out next week. I think, you know, like I said, June wins. I think she'd probably put me up too. So, you know, I think you guys have nothing to worry about if I stay. So that's kind of the scenario I was going to throw at you. Something to think about. Something to think about. But anyways, all right. I guess I'll let you guys talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> <laughs>
scheme and, and plot. <laughs> but is everything cool? Kind of, do you understand? What yeah, I'm absolutely, yeah. man. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Appreciate boys. It. No matter what, we're still cool. We're still gonna play ball. Oh yeah, of, of course. course. Dude, absolutely. Never changes. I never change it. <laughs> Boy, that he laid it on us, huh? You know, all the trust is gone. I'm just at the point where I can't trust anybody now. It's just, it's me against everybody else in the house. are arising and it's not a very comfortable feeling. I don't trust the guys 100%. I think people are squirming because they don't know what we're, we're going to do. Even Allison seems a little worried, but it's still not final, so, so I don't blame them. Everybody's worried. Allison is definitely someone Justin should be worried about. If I were Justin, I'd slap Nate and Allie up there. I, I'm concerned about the Three Stooges and their power right now because I know that they're a threat. Of course, the Three Stooges or whatever, Migos, they feel pretty confident. I think uh, Jack, myself, and uh, Erica are kind of, everything's up in the air. The stress level is, you know, it's always pretty intense during this time. We're definitely a house divided. forced to do something like this a lot more comes to mind when you when you see those pictures looking at the smiles you you start to think some of them are like conniving smiles and others are sincere and genuine people that betray you it's like an eyesore you know you kind of just stay away from those pictures Keys seem to fit in the box easier than others. Definitely some of them belong there and some of them don't. You wish you could take out three people in one week, but uh, it's not the case. I was forced to put, you know, some keys in the box that I really didn't want to. When you keep those keys out of the box, you realize that you're breaking somebody's chances for the end prize. You gotta be selfish. So, you know, that's what I was. is the nomination ceremony. As all of you know, I am the head of household, and that gives me the opportunity to put two house guests up for eviction. And all of you know that, you know, from the get-go, I've been playing this game with honesty, integrity, and I really value trust, I value truth. So, just before you guys, you know, pull these keys out, I want you to know that it's not personal to anybody. I want you to know that how you act in this house. I don't expect you to act outside the house. I know that if one person lied in the house, that doesn't necessarily mean they would do it out of the house. So the value level is not the same in here as it is out there. It is a game. So with that in mind, I will pull the first key out. Robert, you're safe.
are safe. Erica, you are safe. that I nominated Nathan and Jack. Uh, you know, it wasn't an easy choice. You know, I'm, I'm tight with both of you guys. The fact of the matter is, you know, both of you didn't hesitate to lie to my face. And I can't look past that. You know, you guys are both extremely strong competitors and you're a big threat in this game. And you guys are on the other team. So I feel the need to, you know, hit where it hurts most. And, you know, with that said, uh, the meeting's adjourned. Justin, my wife, for the, you know, for the jugular, he just w uh, wanted the, uh, the stronger place to be out. And that's what he, um, you know, he let it be known to them. I will be going hard to win that veto and keep my nominations intact. If I win the veto, it's going to put me in a situation where I don't want to be in, but Nathan really wants off the block. And since Nathan pulled me off the block already, I would feel pretty much obligated to pull him off the block using the veto as well. The alliance is in shambles. We've gone from eight to four, and we're about to be three. I'm going to hang in there, and uh, I'm not going to count on anyone else. I have, a, I have a good feeling. I have a good feeling that I'm going to get off somehow, some way. Who will win the power of veto? And will they use it to save either Nathan or Jack from eviction? Find out Tuesday at 8, 7 central on Big Brother 4.